How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. I do need to say off the bat that what we're doing today is not a hack, it's not a glitch, it's not a cheat, it is all completely legitimate and it's actually a feature within Forza Horizon 5 to increase the horsepower of any car you want by a significant amount. In this example we're going to be playing around in the Toyota Supra because it's a fan favourite car and we can get nearly 2400 horsepower out of this thing. I do need to say a quick thank you to the Racing Monkey, he was the first person I actually noticed to find this and that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. I am going to show you how to do this if you want to do it yourself. What you're seeing on screen right now is the standard fully upgraded Toyota Supra with about 1,600 horsepower. That's usually the most you can get out of it. However, you can actually increase any car's horsepower and torque by about 50%. So with the Toyota Supra, that gets it up to 2,400. Now, before we jump into the 2,400 horsepower Supra, let me tell you and show you how it's done. It's all done through the Root Creator Event Lab. Believe it or not, the Event Lab has quite a, a nifty feature where it lets you basically just add horsepower and add torque to the car. Now you can do this in one of two ways. You can one, play my race. This is the race I've created, it's called High Horsepower. You can see the share code on screen right now if you want to play it. This race already has everything activated. So if you want to jump in any of your cars, play this race, it's up and down the highway and just experience a 50% higher amount of horsepower, you can do that. However, if you want to do it yourself and actually make the race yourself, this is how you do that. So what you need to do is either create your own route or go to a pre-made road race. For example, this is a road race here. Go to it or any other road race you want, go to solo, go to create blueprint, anything goes and then open. So once you get to this screen here, this is the screen you want to be at, whether it's a road race, your own created route, anything, just get to this screen. Go to event settings and put the driver tars down to zero since you're going to be racing on your own and confirm that. But all the magic happens within the rules of play down here. What you need to do is you need to add a trigger and make the trigger continuous. That means that this trigger is happening all the time. It's looking for it all the time. And the condition it's looking for is, is this event finished? Obviously, while you're in the event, the event isn't going to be finished. So what you need to put is equal to false. So basically, continuously, you know, for the whole race, it's going to be looking for if you finished it, which obviously you haven't. So it's going to be false. So while you're racing, all of this is going to activate this action permanently. And the action that you want to activate is the one at the bottom, which is called scale engine torque. Now, yes, it scales your engine torque, but this does increase your horsepower as well. And you want it to increase player one, which is you, and you want to go to number and then put in the number two. Two is the most you can do. That's about 50% more horsepower. So when this trigger happens, continuous, is the event finished equal to no or false? Um, perform the action scale engine torque for player one by a number two. You want to basically copy this exactly. It doesn't matter if it's your own race or just whatever you want. It doesn't matter what kind of race you do this on, whatever you do this rule on, it will give you the extra boosted horsepower. And then test drive it, publish it and whatever, and you go into this race and you will have the extra horsepower. The last thing I recommend doing is going into your settings and then controls, and then changing your telemetry button down here to any button you have available. So I chose the letter A, which is actually my clutch. So I've had to turn off manual with clutch to do this. But essentially go to your controls and give yourself a button for the telemetry so you can bring it up while you're racing to see how much horsepower your car has. I click A now and as you can see, in the top left hand corner we're at about we can see how much horsepower the car has and it's about 1590 which is going to increase a lot in a minute so yeah i'm going to do the races i have already created myself we're going to jump into it in the toyota supra if we go over to it here high horsepower here we go it does say 1600 there but in the telemetry it's going to say well over 2000 as you will soon see if you don't turn that telemetry on you're not going to know how much horsepower you're running but here we go the race starts on here, unfortunately, but it goes straight to the highway. I can already, this is wheel spinning in fourth gear already. So if we bring up the horsepower, let's see how high we can get this. It should be around 2,400. It's up at 700 at the moment. I'm gonna put my foot down in a sec. Oh, crikey, that's quick. 2,300. 
it's, it's just under 2,400 horsepower. And we're already doing 267. Wow. That is quick. I think if we switch back to the 1,600 horsepower Super, it only did about 240, if that. This is just storming past 240. 190, 210, 220, 230. Straight past 240, 250, 260. Jesus, this thing's quick. I think we're playing rear wheel drive as well at the moment. Let's see what gear it wheel spins in. Will it wheel spin in fourth? Yeah, it's too much power for fourth gear. What about fifth? Yeah, it's too much power for fifth as well. Oh, oh, she's twitchy. This is like dev build level of power. You know, anything over 2000 has always been sort of big trucks and stuff like that. We've never actually gotten road cars like the Supra. Just stick over 2000 horsepower in. Oh, this is not something I ever thought we'd get in a game. Here we go, look at that power. Fourth gear is brutal. Now the beauty about this is you can just quit and play it again in any other car. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into another Toyota Supra now, which is going to be all wheel drive, just to see how much better it puts down the power. See what that one's like. Right, we're gonna do a third gear roll on, see if it can actually put the power down. Ooh, only just, Jesus. This is just so much quicker than 1600 horsepower. Does it go past 270 though? 271, 272. Can it put the power down in second gear though? Let's try second gear. Get to this straight bit here. Go away, Crom. It can put the power down. Okay, rear wheel drive seems to be a lot better. I'm surprised at how well it still handles as well. I mean, this is all wheel drive. It seems to handle pretty dang well. I suppose the only downside is we can't drive all these in free roam, which is a good thing because then speed cameras and speed traps will be a bit bit more of a pain, if you know what I mean. Now, just to quickly show you that this works on absolutely any car, uh, we're going to jump in the Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5, 1,876 horsepower, you know, in the normal game. Obviously, with 50% more, that's going to be even higher. Here you go. I, oh my, I can already see that hitting 2,700 horsepower. Here we go. Third gear. 2,800. Crikey. We're at 280 miles an hour, 290 miles an hour. Are we going to hit 300? in this Mustang. There you go, that just proves that it works with any car. We're doing 2,800 horsepower in this thing, which is not, the acceleration on this seems berserk. 80. Anyway guys, yes, this is such a cool discovery that, well the racing monkey, as far as I could see, was the first person to find in Horizon 5, and I'll be doing quite a few videos on this on the channel of certain cars within this race with um, the horsepower boost. The Supra is a fan favourite, there's a few other cars I have in mind as well. It's just just a bit of fun, isn't it? So yeah guys, either do the race that I made or do it yourself. I showed you exactly how to set it up. It does mean you have to create your own routes up and down the highway, which you can do or do it in a normal road race, it's up to you just explore and have a bit of fun. But if you just want to test out your high horsepower car anyway, you may as well use my race, it saves you a lot of time. Anyway guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, to subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content, and I'll see you all later.